This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by We Use Coins. Dot com. Okay, so I guess I should catch you guys up on what we might call my loyal opposition to some of the things that Ian Freeman and company and Keen are doing. I produced a series of videos over the last month or so giving my take on what I've been referring to as a property tax revolt. Basically, some folks out there have started referring to themselves as a church and declaring certain buildings to be parsonages, which I gather may or may not have been houses slash homes before, and maybe still are. I don't know in all cases. Anyway, the kind of conflict that I take serious most seriously is when someone tells me I've made a factual error. I try to correct whatever errors I've made. So <laughs> Ian emailed me. He said, quote, I wish you'd have contacted me or another keen minister prior to editorializing. <laughs> Sorry, editorializing. We could have helped straighten out the facts, unquote. He says I'm uh, mischaracterizing what they're doing as a tax revolt. Uh, I replied, uh, quote, how is not paying property taxes not a tax revolt, unquote. Ian replies, Quote, as we pointed out in our open letter to the city, the church will be paying a voluntary contribution to the city for services of value, so not a tax revolt. Were this a tax revolt, we'd not have formed a church and would be withholding all taxes. The church is a sanctuary for those who are frustrated by the state-worshipping churches. That is why it exists. Unquote. I respond, Okay, so bear with me here. I'm trying to determine if there is a factual error here. But it may sound like I'm interrogating you. Will you be paying to the city the amount it says you owe for the property it says you own? Where is the church located? And if not located anywhere, then you're saying the building you reside in or part of it is a parsonage? So is... Is there is a parsonage, but no building? <laughs> that's, that's my email. Ian responds, quote, The church can meet anywhere. The homes at sev Well, I won't give out the address. I don't know if that's public. But anyway, the homes at this or that address are personage, pers parsonages for multiple church ministers. I do not owe property taxes, and neither should the owner of the parsonages, the Shire Free Church. However, the church will be contributing to the city of Keene, a voluntary amount to cover the services of value, unquote. Okay, so the problem I'm starting to run into here is I don't feel like I've gotten an, much of an answer to my questions. I'm just trying to find out. The city is going to say, I assume, that Ian Freeman owns the, that property that he lives on, unless there's something I don't know, and they're going to say he owes a certain amount of property tax for it. Now, he says he's given the house to the Shire Free Church, but I I don't know if the city uh, considers that to have happened. And I'm not clear on that. So I ask him again, okay, so does this city say you owe or will owe property taxes? Does it say that the Shire Free Church is the owner? I'm not saying they have a right to do it, but it does make a pretty obvious difference. I'm still looking for a factual error so I can say I made a factual error. But so far, I'm not seeing one, beyond saying church instead of parsonages. I can mention that if I make another vid about this, other than the ones already edited and in the pipeline. But you are not going to like what I say. The whole thing just comes off squirrely. Ian responds, yeah, uh, uh, quote, yeah, there was the error of calling it a church and presuming it was a tax revolt. It did not sound like you were aware we'd be making voluntary contributions. Yes, I gave the home to the Shire Free Church. It is in the name of the church. Unquote. Okay, so maybe that means he, you know, that the city considers the Shire Free Church to be the owner. Maybe it has been an official transfer. But the part I'm still not getting the answer to is, I, I, I think I've asked the question twice there, and... and you know, does the city say he owes or will owe property taxes? You know, that he's maybe not going to pay in full. 
I mean, if these folks are saying that they're going to pay the city for the services that they value, then that would mean they're not going to pay for the government schools, a.k.a. not going to pay most of their property tax. I guess, in most cases, either that or they're not voluntarists, because, I mean, no voluntarists would would be supportive of government schools. So it seems like they're either... They're either going to pay the full amount of the property tax, and it's not a tax revolt, or they're not going to pay the full amount of the property tax, which makes it a tax revolt. But I don't see how they can say they're going to pay for only the services that they value and not have a property tax revolt. By definition, paying only for the services they value means not paying part of the property tax. I, they don't have to then call it a, a tax revolt for it to be a tax revolt of, of sorts. The, the, the uh, National War Tax Resistance Coordinating Committee, which I'm loosely affiliated with, defines a war tax resistor as someone who refuses to pay some or all of the federal income tax. Now, now that is the preeminent you know, number one tax resistance group in the country that I know of, and probably the organization best qualified to to render a definition of what tax resistance is. So I think Ian's wrong if he's if he's saying that I've made a factual error by referring to what they're doing as a tax revolt. Either that, or he's going to be someone who owns the house is going to be paying for government schools in violation of the claim that they will be paying for what they value. Now, I would hope that I'm going to do more to try and protect the human rights of the people in this church than the average people who are in this church. I'm glad they're doing something. I appreciate all of them, and I think Ian is the best activist in New Hampshire, maybe the best activist in the world with the exception of maybe Sergei Popovich. And that is why I think it's important for me to raise concerns when I have them. Because what Ian's doing is important. If I care about him and the free team type movement, it's my job to raise concerns about the implications of what they're doing. The first thing that, well, I've noticed some other things first, but what I'm noticing now, just from this conversation, is that Ian, who is normally a pretty straight shooter, very easy to understand on Free Talk Live, good at summarizing things, is becoming impossible to understand. I can't tell what the words he's saying to me even mean. This is bad. If if I if I'm having a problem with it, where do you think? What do you think? How do you think a mainstream reporter is going to react? They're they're going to try to flee the scene. I don't ever want to cover these people again. That's what they're going to be saying, and they're also the coverage that they're going to get is going to probably tend to come more from a perspective of these people are crazy. You know, as much as I am in the all publicity as is good publicity type camp, I still don't want Ian to have to suffer either bad publicity or no publicity. So, you know, I stick with it in our, our email conversation trying to get an answer to this question. So I say, uh, grrr, Ian, love you, man, but you're not answering some of my key questions. Scroll up if you want to answer them. And of course, again, I'm, I'm referring to the main question I really wanted to get the answer for is, does this, where I asked him, does the city say you owe or will owe property taxes? That's really the one that I've got, I feel like I haven't gotten an answer for. He did kind of answer the question of whether he'll be paying the tax the city says he owes. He, he said that he didn't owe any. But again, I asked, does the city say you owe or will owe property taxes? And he, he hasn't answered that question. I still have no idea whether the city will come after him for property tax is or not. Uh, but he says, quote, I did answer your question. The church owns the house. Therefore, I do not owe taxes anymore as I'm no longer the owner. I am sorry that detail was unclear. And I'm nearly not concerned about what people think about the church. 
Our mission is clear and inviting to those who appreciate it. Unquote. So anyway, it sounds like I have made something of a factual error in, in that I have referred to what they call a, a parsonage, a parsonage <laughs> uh, formerly Ian's house. I've referred to it as a church. And they say it's not a church, it's a parsonage. So there's my factual error. Sorry. sorry. Even the small ones I don't like to make. But I, I would hope that you can see how confusing this is. You know, even after looking at their website, I still don't know. Again, Ian says he doesn't own the house, but he lives there, I think. And he's not answering my question of whether the city believes he owns the house. So maybe after I upload this video, he'll answer that question. Now, Ian's posted a, a, a blog uh, post on freekeen.com, you know, talking about how he feels I've mischaracterized what they're doing. But his, his factual correction blog post has a factual error in it. So I guess turnabout is fair play. Uh, Ian says, quote, in his post, quote, He claims that we don't have the support of neighbors, but he's never bothered to talk to any of them. Unquote. Well, that's not accurate because I have talked to two neighbors. Uh, they both spoke with me just briefly off camera. Uh, they basically approached me while I was filming the parsonage slash house slash tax slash whatever you want to call it. Uh, the, the place Ian bought when he moved to Keene. They were sufficiently hostile to both me and uh, Ian that they refused to speak with me on camera as soon as they realized I had anything sympathetic to do with the free keeners. They immediately walked away from me as soon as they uh, figured that out. But, you know, I, I wouldn't expect Ian to contact me and ask me, hey, have you talked to any neighbors before, you know, writing up a blog post? Because I don't generally contact people before writing up, you know, what I'm thinking. I based on what I've already heard them say on the radio or in their blog posts. And there are always facts I don't know, and I try to just you know, either skip those or say I don't know. But it's, it's especially interesting that the timing of this is absolutely the worst possible way, you know, timing it could be for me. Because right now is when the free keen ad run expires. I guess, uh, you know, Ian has bought different ads for, you know, different organizations that he, that he runs. And, you know, they're all very appreciated, even if I criticize some of them. And so has the ad run uh, been over all these years. But <laughs> he and I are basically in conflict at just the moment where I would, uh, I'm running out of, uh, I can't make any more ads until he decides to renew. And I, I don't know if he's going to renew. Maybe not. Uh, it's important to me, though, to not do too much to, well, I should, I should not be uh, granting, you know, a, a, a criticism free zone to any organization, any political organization or semi-political organization, just because it's an advertiser on my show. It's appropriate, I think, for me to grant more coverage to an advertiser than I do to other organizations, simply because an advertiser draws my attention to them. I just can't help but pay attention. Like Shield Mutual, I didn't even know hardly what they were doing until they started advertising, and then I suddenly became interested, and I wanted to do a couple of stories about them. So it does trigger follow-on... Uh, chitter chatter, but it really it does bother me, you know, when you have people that that have a sponsor and they will never say a single cross thing about their sponsor. It's like they're owned by their sponsor, and, it, and it's important to me uh, not to be that. And uh, I may pay a price for that this uh, this uh, this year, or I may not. One of the great things about Ian is that over the years he's been very tolerant of the fact that I criticize many things he and Freakin do. Eh, maybe I've pushed him too far with that word church instead of the word parsonage. Anyhow, if you want to learn more about this organization of which I am not entirely enthusiastic, uh, you'll find it at shiresociety.com. The direct link is too complicated, but I think if you go to shiresociety.com and click around, you'll find this Shire Free Church which the residents of Keene will, in many cases, be referring to as a cult in no time. Are you in favor of this? Then why do you use this? Instead, maybe you should use this. 
Spending a government's currency does more than anything else to prop up that government. Please starve the monster by using other currencies when you can. The most exciting of these is Bitcoin, the currency of peace. Inflation resistant, it's the easiest money to send and receive over the web. Get started at WeUseCoins.com.